Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today we have a good old Monday mashup where I'm going to try to get through three boxes all within the course of a 20-21 minute video. So that said, I will leave timestamps as well as all of the important information like prices and referral codes and affiliate links for you in the description box below so that you can skip around if you'd like. Although, of course, I absolutely appreciate it if you can watch the video in its entirety. Let's go ahead and get started with our first box for today, which is Rocks Box. This is not sent to me for review. This is a jewelry rental subscription. It is $21 per month for you to try before you buy three different pieces at a time. They have a wish list system. They also will give you a little preview of the three pieces they have selected for you. And it's really easy in terms of being able to try the jewelry. And you can keep it for as long as you want. Just know that you are always going to pay that $21 dollars per month if you decide to keep all three pieces whether it takes you one month to decide or you do it over the course of several months you will get a ten dollar savings sometimes there's extra sales I do have a link and a code for you to get your first month so your first three pieces for you to try for you to rent for free and you do get that twenty one dollars in credit if you decide to purchase any of the pieces it's the code is just Noel N BFF1, but like I said, I'll leave an affiliate link for you in the description box below. This time around, and it does include prepaid shipping, so the bubble mailer that it comes in, you save that. There's going to be a label at the bottom of the box for you to slap onto that same bubble mailer so that when you're ready to send items back, if you don't keep everything, you can just send it back. They also include a little invoice that tells you the price of the items and if you got any discounts. Um, this time around, you guys, this is kind of fun. I actually have all Kate Spade items, which are big and bold and whimsical and expensive. So we're going to take a look. I will definitely not be keeping all of these. I might keep maybe one of them. It kind of depends. I have to see what my like referral credit is looking like these days. And it definitely helps me out in terms of keeping pieces if you happen to use my link, like I said. But with Kate Spade, the retail price and the member price are pretty much one and the same. There is no discounts there at all, but I would still get maybe $10 off if I kept all three. But the nice thing is, again, they all do come in the Kate Spade branded bags, so a little bit different than the Roxbox branded ones, so that's kind of nice. But yes, we have um, a pendant, uh, some earrings, and a ring. All right, so let's get started because we have other boxes to open. So this is the pendant. I thought this was really pretty. Um, this is actually a reasonable price to me. Uh, it's just $58 for this Showtime pendant in green and lavender. And I actually thought it would be really pretty for spring. The green is kind of like my birthstone, which is peridot. Um, so I thought that would be kind of a pretty little piece to wear. I don't know if I'll keep it for $58, but that is like kind of my happy price point. And again, I'd be able to pay um, a little bit less because I could use that $21 in credit. By the way, that's either a use it or lose it. So if a month goes by and you don't go ahead and purchase something, doesn't mean you're having to send back the other items right away. But if you don't purchase something, you lose that credit. So you want to make sure that you're checking on a monthly basis before your next charge and maybe applying that credit. So minus $21, it would be $30. $7 for me to hold on to this necklace, which I do think is pretty and springy. So you might see it in a future video. These are the fun whimsical pieces. Now both the earrings and the ring, and I did get two pieces from the same set, are $128. Now I don't know about you, but I feel like paying $128 for some costume jewelry is a little bit crazy. So this is the ring. So it's actually got this little tie on it. Let me see if I can pull that off so that we can actually try it on. I probably am gonna make it worse. Oh yeah, I just made it worse. Oh goodness, let's see, can I pull this off? It's always a little bit tricky. I can probably try it on even without pulling that off. I should have done that ahead of time. But let's take a look. I got it in a larger size because I feel like a big chunky ring like this, you might want to wear on a middle finger. But it is really pretty. It just seems like I could probably find a more affordable version uh, for significantly less than $128. But it's kind of got this spiral vibe to it, so it seems like it might be... It's actually soldered on there, so it's not really adjustable. It is a sized ring, so you do have to pick your size, which is important. And I, I change up which, ring, fing, which finger I wear rings on depending on the design. I'm still trying to pull this off, but it's, it's really like really like complicated so 
Then let's take a look at the earrings. These are also $128. They're a little bit smaller. I do have some really big, bold Kate Spade earrings that I've pulled the trigger on and kept them, um, but they tend to be kind of heavy. And so I kind of liked these because they're not as big. They're not as huge. These uh, starfish from Lani Makana are very lightweight. So these are going to be a little bit more lightweight, um, but they're a little more demure, honestly. Um, and again, I feel like I could probably get a less expensive version of these, very similar uh, for a fraction of the cost for like, you know, 30 to $40. And it's not like these are real gemstones or uh, actual gold uh, finish. So it's just the name you're paying for the label. They're fun. They're springy. I probably wear this on the other side, actually, because it has that little wing that sticks out. But probably not something that I will hold on to, but definitely something that is fun to try. But you guys let me know in the comments below, do you like the earrings more or the ring? I think honestly, just the way this is clustered, I would probably prefer the ring if I kept anything um, because it is so fun and springy. Um, but in terms of value and usability and um, not being such a statement piece, I think the little necklace is probably my choice and it's a reasonable price that I can that I can live with, you know? All right, you guys, let's move on from a rocks box to the little bee box, which is one of the only kids boxes that I open here on the channel. I also open the kids creative journaling box too. So this of course is for children unborn all the way up to age five. It can be customized for any gender and it is really nice because it always includes a bonus gift for the moms inside. It is $51.95 per month plus $10 in shipping and I do have a code for you. It's Noel30 and that will save you 30%. I love the idea of create, having something special to share with your child from month to month and a box that really grows with your child as well. Um, and this is kind, still kind of a newer box so she's definitely open to feedback but what a fantastic gift or a gift to yourself as a new mom or someone who just wants a little refresh because there's also engaging toys and accessories in there, not just clothing items. So we do have our what's inside my box. This time the theme is embrace the journey. She's still been kind of feeling her way around like what that card is going to look like, how much theming there is. Um, and I just, I'm not a mom, so I get uh, boxes for kids of all ages just to show you the variety. I appreciate that she includes the retail values. This looks like it's for a baby. So we got a Disney baby item. So Disney brand, always expensive. Winnie the Pooh brush and comb set. So this is cute and also very gender neutral on that one. So let's see, this brush and comb set has a value of $5.49. So there's the comb, there's the little brush. I'll probably take this out and take some photos. I'm a little bit behind on my photo taking. Some of you guys know that. This is so cute. So yes, this is definitely a baby um, box because this is for zero months, like I told you. Look how cute this pacifier is with this little owl on it. It's super soft and plushy. So this is the baby pacifier value of $12.99 and I think that's pretty gender neutral too. It's got pink and blue. Uh, let me move that off to the side. We get a lot of board books in this box. So this is the three little pigs. Oh, but it says it's a pop-up fairy tale book. Oh, fun, you guys. It's got the pop-ups. I used to love those when I was a kid, that there would be a little bit of three-dimensional element to it. There's a lot of text in there, so this is definitely, you're going to be reading this to your kiddos, but there is that added visual stimulation of having the pop-up with the, you know, it's really only three pages total, but um, definitely something that they can grow with. The Three Little Pigs, a classic. So this reading book is $4.49, but I love that it had that pop-up element. Okay, so maybe not a gender neutral box because now I'm seeing the adorable sets of clothes inside. One, we have the matching headband from Emily and Oliver. Look at how cute those little rainbows are. So it's a baby girl three piece set that has a value of $20.98. So that is the first piece that I'm showing you. Then we have the matching little pants, super duper cute. And look at the little ruffles at the bottom. That's adorable. And then finally we have the top with a little ruffle sleeve. Oh, this is a onesie. That's cute. So they can wear the onesie if it's kind of warm weather. Of course, you, so you can put the pants on over so that they are a little bit warmer. Their chunky little legs can be, be hidden. So this is for zero to three months. So um, I don't have anybody who's in that like 
that uh, category right now. I might soon. There's a little niblet coming, but we don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl yet. So I might hold on to that because there's always, there's always baby showers, right? And then we have some burp cloths. These are cute. So this is from Dream Grow. It's a three-piece set in this pink and pretty like lavender. This is just a simple simple one. This one has polka dots and then they have that nice like terry cloth texture on the other side. So just burp cloths that you can put over your shoulder when baby decides to burp up and then that doesn't need to get onto your clothes. So uh, Dream Grow burp cloths um, grow, sorry, $10.99 for all three of those. There's still more in here. There's a, She managed to put a ton of stuff in here. Oh, what's this? This is, well, the box got a little bit torn up, so I will probably have to take this out. This is a bottle brush. Like my non-mom head was like, it's a toilet brush. It's a bottle brush for cleaning all of those bottles. That is super duper smart. So it does stand upright, which is kind of cool. Um, it has a strong tip and I bet you can probably, I wonder if you can put it in the washing machine. Nipple brush in handle. Oh, the handle unscrews and then there's a little nipple brush so that you can really make sure everything is nice and clean in those bottles. That is important because that's where the bacteria wants to hide out, right? So that brush is $3.99. And then we have this. Oh, this is the gift for mom. I saved the best for last. It's a four in one pedicure set. It's got the little free gift for you on it. So this is cute. It says four in one interchangeable. So we have like a little emery board. We have the like scraper for your heels for all that dead skin. Let's see. It's got the pumice stone, a callus shaver, a callus rasp. That's when you're like really getting in there and then the skin smoother. So I guess maybe this is the pumice stone here, this big one, and then we have the smoother, this is the black one, and then we have the rasp, can you guys see? It almost looks like a grater right there. Um, well, the front one is the rasp, and then we also have the, what was it? Shaver, right, so the shaver is more like the grater. Wow, you can get really in there, so uh, my, Poor nail ladies are always like, should we do callus remover for you? And I'm like, no, because I walk around barefoot and I need my calluses. Like, I like my calluses. I earned them. I want to keep them. But not everybody feels that way, especially with summer right around the corner and sandal weather coming up. So that was a pretty uh, nice uh, free gift for the mamas. I think that the burp cloths are adorbs as well as the outfit. Always love some cute little rainbows and onesies. I actually think this is really cute too. I've always been like one of those like non-pacifier people, but again, not a mom. So sometimes there's a place for it. Also really cute with the pop-ups. Adorable box as always from the little V box, but let me know in the comments below who would you be getting this for? Do you have any niblets? Niblets is the like gender neutral version of nieces and and um, nieces and nephews, right? Because it's like saying siblings, but they're nibblings, but I call it them niblets. Anyway, you guys, we have one more box to take a look at today. So let's, it is Vela Box, which is a fantastic candle subscription. This one is also sent to me for review as is the little bee box. It is uh, great because you can customize to the candle size that you need because they have three different sizes. They have this one, this is the largest where you are going to get a 16 ounce candle every month for $38. There is the Ignis, which is an eight ounce candle. So half the size for $28 per month and then again step down half size to four ounces that's the lucerna subscription and that is $18 per month for all of them I do have an affiliate link and a code for you it's noel50 noel50 and that will save you 50% on your first one they work with all kinds of candle makers sometimes they do their own but I really love it says disconnect to connect that's Wow, wise words. So they always have a vibe to their boxes. They often have a Spotify playlist. They're definitely showcasing all kinds of candle makers. They try to do um, really earth-friendly packaging. And in addition to your candle, there's always a bonus item that has a value of at least $10, sometimes more than that. We also get these nice reusable drawstring bags that they use for the packaging. Um, so I appreciate that. I haven't found the perfect use for them, but I have a whole collection now. And I know one of these days I am going to find like the perfect use for them, but they also make good little gift bags as well. So they 
really just fit the candles just right, so especially these larger sizes. Let me see if I can find my little card in here that will tell us about the items this time around, our surprise items. So the Spotify playlist this time around, which is created by Velabox, is called Off the Grid. It says your sonic escape when you want to disconnect from the hustle and bustle and reconnect with yourself from soothing acoustic to storytelling folk to mellow electronic tracks. This playlist is perfect for unwinding, taking the road less traveled, or simply enjoying a moment of solitude. Listen and burn for the ultimate vibe. I like it. I like it. So our featured candle maker is Burrow Home. So when you first sign up, it's great because they want you to love your candles. You tell them the kinds of fragrances that you enjoy and the candle makers that they work with will usually have three to four different scents and based on your profile, they will decide what the best scent is for you. And even though I sometimes get to actually choose, I have sometimes been sent all of the scents or I have been sent not the one that I selected and they're always amazing. But some of the fragrances, you know, you can say you love fresh and clean, you can say that you love floral, you can say that you love sweeter scents, you can also say that you always want to have those seasonal scents like my pumpkin spice latte girls in fall. You can make sure that you get those kinds of scents as well, but they always choose just right and they really do select some fantastic fragrances. So let's read about Burrow Home. They're out of Portland, Oregon. It says, born out of a passion for fragrance, Burrow Home was founded in 2021 by Laura Lutz using her scent memories, travels, and nostalgia for her home state of Hawaii. All right, home state of Hawaii. Um, Laura creates scented products that transport and transform spaces. At Burrow Home, each small batch, hand poured soy candle, perfume, and body care product is a testament to Laura's dedication to crafting the finest scented products, inviting you to immerse yourself in the art of fragrance. And then, lovely, as a subscriber, you get an additional discount if you want to get more Burrow Home candles for 15% off. So, this is the scent that I got. It is called Trail. This is awesome. I'm excited. It says fur, oak moss, and damp soil. My label's on a little bit wonky, but I, I can live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. It means it's like handmade. So it says, trail encapsulates the vibrant essence of the Pacific Northwest, where the air is filled with the rich aroma of damp earth and flourishing greenery. Enjoy the less lush scent as it transports you to a wooded glade creating an atmosphere of sublime comfort and serenity now i'm really curious to see what scents she has in her line that are inspired by hawaii because you know that's where i'm from hence my channel name let's open this up and smell i'm so excited oh that is nice that is nice so usually when you think with well, definitely has that fur scent I love the Pacific Northwest. Some of my family lives up there. And I just love that idea of being able to, I, don't you just feel invigorated when you walk in the forest? So it's very much that like forest bathing vibe, but in the comfort of your own home without having to be outdoorsy. Mmm, mmm, that is so, so good. Love that trail. Really love that. That is the next candle I'm burning. I know I say that every time I open up Vela Box, I'm like, oh, that's the next candle. And I have quite the stock of candles, you guys. But I have candles burning every day, honestly. I just think it's, mm, it just makes me happy because I work from home. So it's important to have a happy home environment if you are working from home. All right. So our surprise item this time around more fragrance, but this one is from Bellabox. It's a $12 value because we got not one, but two car fresheners. And I love these when they just are like a subtle design. It's nothing like crazy, like a, I don't know, pink bunny rabbit. It's just a nice, simple, it says lucky. Um, let's see. And it says, I'm trying to read it because the little string is in front of it. It says cool. Does that maybe say cool water, ozone and flower petals? Is that what it says? Cool water, ozone, and flower petals. Love it. So let's see. We got a set of two. It says, Bellabox air fresheners provide a long-lasting fragrance experience for your car or any small space that needs freshening up. Sometimes I put these in my husband's closet, like along the ground where his shoes are. It says, let's see. Freshening up. Made with clean, high-quality fragrance. This month's feature is our scent Lucky from the Moods Collection. 
Oh, okay. So they make their own candles and now they're adding their fragrances to other things like this. That's really cool. I wonder if they have like a monthly subscription just to get new air fresheners. That would be kind of cool actually as like an add-on to your candle subscription. It says, enjoy this fresh scent with notes of cool water, ozone, and flower petals. Like, I don't know what ozone is supposed to smell like, but every time it's in a candle, I'm like, oh, that smells good. It's like, I'm like, isn't ozone just like the air? Um, but I love the smell. Just like when they say like, it smells like driftwood and ocean air. I'm like, honestly, ocean air doesn't smell as good as like these candles, but I get the vibe they're going for. And that's very much how I feel like people sort of label fragrances. So fantastic box from Vela Box. I'm really into this Burrow Home trail candle. I'm really into the air fresheners because I think they do great scents in their moods collection. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this mashup, what your favorite box was, which one you would find the most interesting. Let me know if you have any suggestions on which earrings or ring or necklace I should keep, if any. Um, let me know if you know the perfect recipient for the little bee box. I'm sure you have someone in mind, or you could just also just... Um, let me know if you don't. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. You guys, let's have a secret password real quick. Let's have it be lucky. Let's have it be lucky. So when you come across a secret password, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form linked for you in the description box below. I'll use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive mystery boxes. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or Canadian mailing address. You have to be subscribed to my channel, not affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. But today's secret password is lucky. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you are one of the lucky winners. See you soon.